right, guys. Good morning. This is Faithful with Elegance for Less. It is a gorgeous Saturday morning, and I'm excited to be able to share this DIY with you guys. Now, I was thinking I have not done any Christmas ornaments, and every year I like to try to do a personalized um, ornament for my tree. And um, a while ago, when I did homeschool with the children, that would be one of our projects is to create Christmas ornaments. And so I am going to do two of them for you today. I'm excited because um, I did a few last year and they are absolutely gorgeous on my tree this year. I shared a few of them with you guys if you've seen that video of my Christmas tree. So let's jump right in. What you will need for this project is craft gems, yes. And I got these from Hobby Lobby. They're $2.99 and 50% off. I did buy two packs of them and I put them in a little container, this little jar. And you will also need some of these Dollar Tree gems as well. They are um, the shiny ones and the dark ones. I've chosen the dark ones. You'll need some diamond wrap. And I strongly suggest you get the ones with the adhesive on the back because the Christmas ornament is very thin and I would not suggest putting the glue gun on it. You're going to need some, well, it's a lot of beads and glitter. We created this when I did the blue Christmas tree and I have a lot of it left over. So I'm definitely going to be using it in several of my crafts. So these are the things that you are going to need for your project. You definitely need to have Mod Podge. You're going to need a paintbrush, a bowl to catch all your beads to put them back together. And you need your scissors so that you can cut your diamond wrap. However amount of Christmas ornaments you want to make, you will need to haul those from the Dollar Tree. Now, I want to say um, buying them in the bulk that Michael has may be less expensive than to buy them one at a time for a dollar from the Dollar Tree because you can use a 50 or 60% coupon off at Michael's. So that might be a better way of going about it if you're going to make a lot of them and these make awesome Christmas gifts as well so if this is your first time to my channel welcome and thank you for choosing to watch hopefully you will like this video and decide to become a subscriber we would love for you to join our family so I hope that you do like this video now I am going to use the small brush because I've got some small Places that I'm going to go in between on my ornament. So I'm just going to pour out a tap bit of the glue into the cap. I took my little blue beads and I wrote joy on it. Now this was very easy to do because it has the adhesive on it. So I just put joy, you can put whatever you want on your ornament. Let's go ahead and remove the tag. Now we have something to hold on to. And I'm going to take my small brush. And try and be as generous as you can. Okay, so I have coated this, I think, very well. And now I want to go ahead and start adding all my beads to this. It is important to make sure you cover every area. Okay guys, so I'm loving that, but I'm also thinking I'm going to go over my joy, my beads that I have, that says joy, just add 
a little bit of Mod Podge on it so it can stand out a bit more. Okay, so add a little Mod Podge and then go over it with the gold. Let's see if that will give a little bit more stand out. Because my blue is not standing out very well on that. So I'm going to test that out and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I went over it with the gold. And I'm loving the way that it turned out. Hope you do too. Trying to maneuver it so you can see. I filled in the inside of the O with the gold. And I really love the way that it glows. So let's get started. I'm going to let it dry. I possibly go back over it with some more beads. I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to let that dry and we can get started on the next Christmas ornament. Okay, so for this ornament, we are going to do red. So I have all my pieces of diamond wrap cut out and I do have two large sizes and two smaller sizes. What I want to do <clears throat> is create a V. So let's peel this back. Start from the top in a slanted V. We're creating a V shape. And having the adhesive makes your life much easier because you don't have to worry about dealing with the glue gun. So this is pretty much what we're going for. I'm going to do that all the way around and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is what I have and I think I'm loving that so far. So I've got a few strips that I want to add to it. wanted to share that part with you guys. Peel back. In between. Want to make sure the diamond wraps are lined up. Come down in a straight line. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same and then start on my Mod Podge, come back before I add my glitter so that you can see how this is turning out. So guys, I decided I needed to add some gems. It was just screaming gems, gems, gems to me, so I did. So now I want to go ahead and add my beads. So guys, this is how it turned out. I hope that you love the way that this ornament turned out, how it looks. I am in love with all the sparkles. I love everything that glitters, guys. Love that. I hope you do too. I'm going to go ahead and put the other one on here. And my hope is that I have inspired you to create your own custom-made Christmas ornament. And especially, this project is fabulous to do with your children or grandchildren. So, I hope that you will create your own for the holidays. 
All right, thank you so much, and I will see you on my next video.